Robert is an international speaker and author of the business classic, The Nordstrom Way, the inside story of America's number one customer service company. Business Week magazine said, for anyone looking to understand customer service at its best, this book bubbles with insights. His newest book is The Nordstrom Way to Customer Experience Excellence, creating a values-driven service culture, which Forbes magazine named the top business book of 2017. Robert is a co-founder of RSI, a company that helps organizations create a value-based culture. He has contributed articles to many publications, including the New York Times and the Wall Street Journal. He teaches retail at Western Washington University, drawing from the work he's done on Seattle-based icons, including Nordstrom, the well-known Amazon.com, Starbucks, and Costco. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome Mr. Robert Spector. Every person in this room is in the customer service department. I don't care what it says on your business card, you are in the customer service department. So if you can indulge me for a second, turn to the person next to you, shake his or her hand, and say, welcome to the customer service department. Go ahead. <clears throat> <clears throat> Okay, customer service department, let's settle down now, okay? All right, now, don't you feel you're a better person now that you're in the customer service department, right? Guy, there, g give yourself a round of applause, there you go. This is not about retail, it's not about selling shoes, it's about creating a culture that wants to take care of the, of the customer and attracts other people who want to do the, the, the exact same thing. So, so my, my, my talk and my whole view of Nordstrom is built around values. So what are we talking about? So values are principles or standards of behavior, judgment of what is important in life. So the, the values model, things I'll be talking about today are going to be trust, loyalty, respect, awareness, humility, communication and collaboration, competition and compensation, innovation and adaptation, giving back and having fun. So the way we look at it, vision is the heart, is the head of your business, mission is the heart of your business, and values are the soul of your business. And you need all those things in order to be a truly customer-centric company. So what is the Nordstrom way? You think after 25 or 30 years, I would figure this, this Nordstrom thing out. So it's very simple. The Nordstrom way is established and stay true to a culture of values, attract people who share the values, and teach and train based on the values. That's it. And you're not, you, you, you want to attract people who already share the core values, because you're not, if they don't, you're not going to change them. People are who they are. I don't know how many people, when they you know, decided, they, they, when they, they were going to get married, and said, you know, when I, when, when I get married, I'm going to change my future spouse. How'd that work out for any of you, right? <laughs> right? People are who they are, coming out of the womb. That's who they are. You're not going to change them. So you want people who already get it, as opposed to trying to convince them to get it. One of my favorite quotes from George Bernard Shaw, who's not only a playwright, but he was one of the founders of the London School of Economics, that the single biggest problem in communication is the illusion it has taken place. Right? Anytime you have more than one person, you've got a communication challenge. So every, every interaction, every touch point is an opportunity to create a meaningful moment, an emotional, enduring connection, in other words, a relationship. This is the beauty of, of really focusing on your clients, that you can develop this relationship. Because after all, all of business is based on re relationships. That's why even in this, in this internet age, we still need to be together as human beings. We're all social animals. We, we, we want to we shake hands and hug and joke around and have a few drinks and play with o other people. So there's always that opportunity to create that, that meaningful relationship. So in every interaction, this is very simple, you ask three questions. Am I enhancing the customer experience in a meaningful way? 
Am I creating loyalty by satisfying the customer? And finally, am I contributing to the bottom line? What other questions do you, do you need to ask yourself? You know, if these three happen, then it all works. And we're all in the relationship business. Everyone here is in the relationship business, right? How do you maintain relationships by communicating? You know, it doesn't have to be every day, but just periodically. So when something happens, when an order is messed up, or whatever happens, you have that relationship built on trust. So, you know, trust me to take care of it. We're sorry that this happened. We're on it. We're going to take care of it. And w whatever adjustments that we need to do, we'll do it for you because we value you as a customer. And when somebody says that to you, that we value as a customer, that makes you feel good. Because we're all customers at one point of the day or another. And we know how we like to be treated. And if someone hears what our issue is and responds accordingly and takes care of it as soon as possible, why would we want to do business with somebody else? Okay. Could you, can you tell me your, your name? Vijay. And can you tell me what department you're in? Customer service. All right. Give this man a hand. <laughs> Okay.